at the second statement in simple regression model estimated using OLS residuals are such that E bar is 0 and E bar square is also 0. So actually it is asking you what happens to mean and mean square, right? What happens to mean and mean square? Now try to answer something to me. Huh? See, <clears throat> for example, if I tell you that there is an x takes the value minus 1, 0 and 1. What is the mean of x beta? Minus 1 plus 0 plus 1 by 3. That means 0. If mean is 0, even if you will square the mean, it will remain 0 only. Na? So mean of x bar will also be 0. So basically e bar ka square, mean ka square, square of the mean will be 0 if mean is 0. If mean is 0. And we know this property that the mean of the residuals is actually 0. This is a known property to us that mean of residuals is 0. Right? So what is mean of residual beta? Mean of residual is summation of residual divided by n. What are residuals? Can you tell me? It is the difference between actual and predicted value of y divided by n. What is the predicted value of y beta? B1 plus B2 x divided by n. So this is going to give you summation yi minus summation B1 minus B2 summation x divided by n. So this will give you summation y minus n B1 minus B2 summation x divided by n. And isn't this the first normal equation? Isn't this the first normal equation? It is. The first normal equation says submission y is equal to n b1 plus b2 submission x. Submission x. This is my first normal equation. You can refer to this lecture. It is available on YouTube also. Right? Where I have derived the OLS estimators. This is my first normal equation. So, from here I can say that summation y minus nb1 minus b2 summation x will be 0. Right? So, this will be 0. So, we know that the mean of the error term is 0. And if mean of error term is 0, even if you square it, it does not matter. It will remain 0. Right? So, this correct. Uh, so, this is a true statement. This is a true statement. Is this clear?